Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. So says James in his little book, chapter 1, verses 2 to 3. Does seem like that's going a bit far, you know? Pure joy is not my instinctive reaction to trials of many kinds, though I might stretch to try to adopt that kind of mental attitude. This is raw faith. This is trusting that uh, against all the odds, uh, in the goodness and wisdom of God, that whatever this is happening, for whatever reason, known or unknown, that God can bring something good out of it. So perseverance. Now, why should perseverance be a better outcome than having the trials taken away? You know, a quick fix. That's what we, we all want. But how often have you or I heard people talking about the darkest times in their lives, the times where eventually the most light broke through and they learned the deepest lessons and grew uh, as they'd never grown before. Blessed is the one who perseveres under trial, because having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. The gold is put into the furnace that it may be purified. And God, in his mercy, uses the heat of our trials to activate the alchemy of grace that forms the likeness of Christ in us.